everybody welcome back thank you for joining me um right i redid my nails well this hand not this hand and i put a little uh tiktok um reel or whatever it's called out and it was uh, for hyper realistic nails um question mark i suppose because it depends what you think but one difference that I've got is that I've got a sheen rather than high gloss and it's not matte. So I'll show you how I did that. And I did them just because I was bored and fed up and uh, I didn't even put a camera on. So I didn't film them. But this is what they look like. So these are now my own nails that have grown to about there. I'm not going to show you underneath because it's full of all sorts of barrier creams and all sorts. Um, so this is it. So this is how we're going. So I've got about that far left to go and they'll be my own well strengthened anyway i can't grow them on my own uh but i'm going to show you how i did them i don't know what you think if you want to zoom in Ooh. so they might look slightly different colors because i already had the base built if you remember um but i'll show you what i used on the top and it was this now i've just come in with voiceover while i'm doing the editing because i've realized since doing this that this cream palette is no longer available but if you've got it i've shown it so you can use it if you've not got it i'm showing on screen the two pictures of the closest you can get um and you can mix as well as you want but the main thing really is to use a solid cream so that it's really thin you can pull it really thin on your nail that's that's the main thing so sorry that one's not available but these are and i'm going to just do one finger just to show you the technique of what I did, so hopefully it'll turn out okay. Um, if it doesn't, I don't suppose you'll be seeing this. <laughs> oh dear, let's zoom in a bit, see if you can get that in the middle. So I've just put a fake nail bed basically in that finger. Uh, and what you would do is take this shiny surface off your nail. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to use my sanding band for speed. And also I've got a tip. Uh, I built mine with um, paper forms um, and things and then infilled. So I'll show you from scratch if you're doing it on your own now. Uh, so I'm just going to put a tip on there. I've etched the inside of it because it isn't a well. Uh, and I'm going to cut that down. Cut that really down to see if we can make it look realistic. So I'll just get this prep done on here. I'm going to stick it on the normal uh, brush on glue. And then I'm going to use a nude pink um build a gel basically so we'll get that done so i've filed that join where i put the tip on as smooth as i can and then i'm just really rubbing in uh, a very thin coat so that's the base coat and i'm going to cure that and then i'm going to come back with the builder gel So for the first part I'm using it from the bottle and then when I go in with more layers I was running out so I had to start putting it on a palette and I've used a, um, a separate little brush to build it. So thin slip layer first. Pull it quite thin, you're just really showing the gel where you want it to go. And then I'll get more on my brush and start building it. As you can see, I'm running out. I can't get an awful lot on my brush. It's a lovely colour, this one. So if you're not confident with a builder gel and it's quite loose, you can always just do that layer and keep doing a layer as you want. If you can work very quickly and you can get a bigger blob um, on your brush, uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. I'm just going to kind of uh, sway from side to side and, and pull it slightly down the nail as I go.
I must put some of this on my shopping list. <laughs> Bigger bottles, please, Born Pretty. So I'm trying to not touch the cuticle. If you do, wipe it off straight away before you cure it. I want to leave as much as I can up at the top, just for a bit of strength. And then just teasing it down. Make sure you get it right down to the edges. Give you something to file. Turn it over and it'll make it round off nicely. And then wipe off the tacky layer and go in with the file. You can hand file or you can use your e-file. Um, you don't need much of a file on it. It's quite easy to file. So even a sanding band would do it if you've got one of them. If not a uh, carbide, just a fine or medium. Because you don't want to be taking off bulk, so you don't want a, uh, a bit that's too strong. Now the main thing with the filing is that because we're trying to make it look natural, you want the end of the nail not to be, you know, like it's often, I don't know, a couple of mil thick when you've finished filing. A lot of nails that you see are quite thick on the ends. Well, you need the thickness on the apex, but... I've had these nails on now since I filmed this. I've had these on for at least a couple of weeks and there's been no breakages on the end whatsoever. And what I do is I just pull the file over the edge of it and make the very tip of the nail super thin, less than credit card thick, as natural as you can. So I've still got the strength at the back, but I'm just pulling it super, super thin on the end. Can you see? So I've got it a little bit too fat there on that side. If you look down the barrel of the nail, you'll be able to see if you've got more off one side than the other. And I think the best thing with jelly is to work at one side than the other side and keep going back and forwards. If you do too much on one side, you can lose your shape completely because it is so soft to file. So I'm pulling it down over the edge and making that edge as thin as I can. And obviously I'm pulling the fingernail out of Eve, but yours won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go so that's as thin as we can get so I'll get that cleaned off brush all the dust off give it a wipe with some alcohol just to make sure I've got rid of any little bits and then we'll go in with some colour So that's a lovely colour in itself. If you don't want to put any colour on the nail bed, if that's the right colour for you, that's fine. You don't even have to do this bit. But the two palettes that I showed when I came to editing, uh, I realised I'd got to put another palette on because this one's not available. But just mix whatever colour suits your uh, skin and your nail bed because you can still mix solid colours, these solid creams, not just ones from a bottle and what I've got here is in my palette I've got this little brush but you want one that's very very thin at the end uh, and this one's a bit square so very flat and very square and um, on my natural thumbnail I've got half moons I haven't got them on any other fingernail and when I've been looking at them I've been realizing how much more I like the my thumb than I do the other fingers so I decided here to paint in a little half moon so I'm just kind of dabbing it on to keep it really thin and then I'm going to go over that with this uh, pinky beige now the thing with the solids is they feel slightly sticky, don't they, when you're putting them on, so you can really pull it really thin. What you don't want when you're trying to make your nails look natural, I've found, is uh, for it to be too thick. Now I'm going to use the same technique for going around the top. So, 
if you are doing them and you want them to look realistic um, I've got a friend whose nails look exactly like this she has them shaped like this and everything they're her own job fabulous how she can grow her own nails um, so I had a good look at them and the line around is never absolutely perfectly straight uh, as you would paint with a liner brush or something so that's why I'm using the tip of the brush and there's also a little bit of a dark line between uh, you know where your free edge leaves your finger you always have a little bit of a, a darker line where your hypernychium is um, so I'm just going to put that on here and then pull it back slightly and to be honest I wish I'd done this slightly darker I wish I'd done another coat of this then they, they would have looked spot on like hers So I shouldn't have pulled them back anymore, I should have left that as it was. So that's it. So we're not super white, we're not yellowy. Uh, and slightly transparent with that free edge. Um... Right, what I'm doing here is I want a sheen on the nails. I don't want them to be super shiny and I don't want them flat matte. So I kept thinking about it and thought, how can I do it? So I'm mixing one drop of super top coat, a glossy top coat, and two drops of matte. Experiment with this, play about with it, you get the amount of sheen that you want. Now when I show you these at the end when I've finished it, yes it is just a sheen, but don't forget I've got my spotlights on um, for filming. So when you're in natural daylight or even in the evening light in your lights in your house, uh, the sheen is not very, very strong at all. It's, it's really nice. They just look like well manicured uh, gloss. So again, pulling it really thin. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you the end result. So here we are. It's got a sheen. I think that looks quite natural, that sheen. Like some nicely manicured nails. And uh, what do you think? Are you going to give it a go? If you've not subscribed, please consider it. And if you'd like to click the like button on your way out, I, I would love that. Thank you. That helps me a lot. And uh, I want you to take care and look after each other. Until I see you next time. Love you loads. Bye.